Dr. Rajinder Singh here. Uh, I'll talk about uh, knee injuries uh, following road traffic accidents. Now, before we uh, talk about the topic, let us look at some statistics regarding uh, road accidents. So, uh, this is from the West Bengal uh, Traffic uh, Police website. And as you can see, in West Bengal, in 2015, we've had nearly more than 13,000 reported accidents. And out of that, the number of people killed were more than 6,000. And that is uh, reported. And of course, as we know, there are lots of other unreported accidents as well. And that uh, only quantifies the number of uh, uh, deaths. Uh, there are, of course, many people who are severely injured following such accidents. And uh, if we look at the uh, reasons why uh, road traffic accidents and the resultant motorcycle accidents happen, then let us start from the very first thing. So when a motorcyclist starts uh, driving, the first thing you need to make sure that you have your helmet on. You need to make sure that you are not drunk. So there is an absolute no-no with regard to drinking and driving. And uh, once you are on the road, you need to make sure that you drive in a lane. You should not be moving between the vehicles. There should not be any overtaking from the left side. And uh, when you change lanes, then you should use an indicator. And uh, also, whilst you are riding the bike, you should make sure that your knees are not sort of divulged to the side. So they should be pulled in towards the bike. And then at the time of stopping, you need to make sure that uh, you know there should be an appropriate stop at the red lights, signals, and when you stop, make sure that there's uh, nothing behind you coming at a high speed. So you should not stop brake suddenly because that again leads to uh, lots of uh, collisions. So if we think about these factors which cause a motorcycle accidents, then it is very easy to determine that if everything is bad, then we can reduce the number of accidents uh, following the motorcycle uh, injuries. Now, uh, we'll only talk about the knee injuries. Uh, knee is the most commonly involved joint following a motorcycle accident. And as we know, knee is the major weight-bearing joint of the body. So any injury to the knee can have devastating complications on the person involved with the accident. Now, uh, we'll look at the anatomy of the knee to uh, just have a good understanding of uh, what is involved. So that's the lower end of our thigh bone. That's called the femur. That's the upper end of the shin bone, that's called the tibia, and then we have the kneecap in front, and lots of ligaments and soft tissues around the knee. And uh, that is the bony uh, knee, and then we have the ligaments on either side, which holds the knee in a stable position, so they ensure stability of the knee. And inside the knee, we have this disc-shaped meniscus, which acts as a cushion between the, between the bones. So injury to the knee can involve uh, injury to the soft tissues as well. And uh, these are the cruciate ligaments, which are generally involved with uh, heavy football injuries or uh, heavy uh, sports injuries. And they can also be involved with a road traffic accident. And um, so uh, once, you've, uh, once you're involved in a road traffic accident, any passerby who is there to help the victim must ensure, first of all, that it is safe to approach the victim. You know, you should not put your life at risk to go and save, uh, save the person who's lying on the road. So once that is ensured, make sure that the person is breathing. So uh, look at the airway, the breathing, and then look at any obvious injury to the knee. So if there is any bleeding point from the knee, then the the most easiest and the safest thing to do on the road is to cover the wound with a clean cloth and just hold it with a gentle pressure to avoid any further bleeding. It should not be very tight, it should not be exsanguinating the leg. And uh, the next thing to do would be to splint the leg in some sort of a way so that it does not move. Because if there's any injury to the bone, then any movement of the bone leads to a lot of pain and can lead to uh, shock. Uh, cardiogenic shock. So the best way to splint the leg is to uh, tie it to the other uh, leg and in that way you know we ensure that the leg does not move and then uh, it would be sort of transfer the person to the nearest available facility for uh, trauma care. And regarding the injuries, uh, bony injuries, we can have a fracture of the injury to the upper end of the shin bone. So most of these uh, usually required a surgical intervention in the form of uh, fixation with the plate and screws. And uh, following uh, the injury, the rehabilitation is generally quite good and uh, most patients achieve uh, almost full range of movements and uh, uh, sort of a near normal life after that. Some of the injuries can involve the lower end of the thigh bone, the femur, and these are generally very difficult injuries because it involves the joint surface. And again, these need fixation uh, with uh, plate and screw. 
and uh, again the rehabilitation though a little bit prolonged is generally quite good and most patients achieve uh, very good results uh, following these injuries. There can also be injury to the to the kneecap in front and that's the patella and uh, most of the time it involves the front seat passengers uh, in the cars or on the motorbike when, when the knee hits uh, a static object. So uh, there is a the patella is almost completely shattered and these are generally repaired with uh, again with metal work and uh, the results following these are also very good and uh, sometimes there can be complex injuries involving almost all the bones around the knee and uh, these also require uh, surgical interventions. Now if we uh, come at some more severe injuries that they involve a lot of trauma to the to the skin and soft tissues and uh, generally with these there can be an associated injury to the nerves and blood vessels which go behind the knee. So it is important that these injuries are uh, they get medical attention almost uh, immediately because any delay would lead to uh, significant implications with regard to the survival of the limb and the function of the limb. And uh, next we come to the soft tissues. If there could be an injury to the uh, anterior cruciate ligament uh, inside the knee. Most anterior cruciate ligaments in elderly population uh, involving sedentary jobs uh, do not lead to any much significant abnormal, uh, disability to the person. But in young patients, young male patients who have an ACL injury and they are involved in active lifestyle, then a surgical intervention to reconstruct the ACL, uh, uh, the anterior cruciate ligament uh, reconstruction is uh, quite useful. And uh, this is done by taking a, a ligament from the knee. Uh, I mean, on the inner side of the knee, we do have a few spare tendons uh, which are used to reconstruct the ACL. And most of it is done arthroscopically through the keyhole. So we don't need to open up the whole knee. And uh, again, this is a very uh, satisfying surgery which gives uh, very good results. And uh, patients are able to get back to full sporting activities, including Premier League play uh, between four to five months after the surgery. And uh, uh, this is how the uh, ligament looks like after it's reconstructed. So that's completely torn there and there we can see the ligament is uh, reconstructed. And uh, sometimes along with the ACL there could be an injury to the meniscus, the cartilage between the knee which is a shock absorber and if that is torn then you tend to get clicking in the knee. So the knee sort of clicks when you bend and sometimes the knee can get locked and get static in a position uh, and it doesn't move. So these also uh, require uh, surgery where uh, the torn meniscus uh, which is identified through the keyhole surgery and that's sort of removed appropriately. Um, so uh, that's the, uh, you know, in a, just the major injuries around the knee. But the key point are uh, with regard to the safety of uh, motorbike driving. So the driver, as I said before, you know, we should take good care to avoid accidents. Accidents prevention is the, is the best way of uh, involving uh, is the best way of preventing any injury to the person but if there is an accident there is an injury to the knee then seeking uh, urgent medical attention is of paramount importance and of course uh, we should keep in mind that these injuries most of these would require uh, surgery and there is a prolonged rehabilitation associated with it thank you safe drive save life